So this is part two, black male, black female relationships, revenge of the black feminists. Um, as I was saying, so black men in this society who lack particular skills and they're not able to to be affirmative in their in their um, organizational analysis and economic pros, uh, prosperity are uh, in are now in a position of 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 being effeminized, where black women who st who are where black men that they, they still have the standards or the ideas of 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 the 1600s or something or the the misinterpretation of the Bible or the interpretation of of the Bible which was based upon male uh, agricultural or or um, pre agricultural societies you know so when they see black men <laughs> not so-called uh, being the the economic breadwinner they mistakenly uh, question black men's manhood I've seen it done I've seen many black women who are slaves themselves instead of working intellectually and developing the institutions and to develop the commerce and trade and to gather the right intelligence to provide food clothing and shelter would rather just sit be and out of fear and out of miseducation and incompetency would just sit and and be controlled and develop these poverty habits shopping eating out at who knows where not in our own communities not developing jobs for us until there, there, there must be some black man somewhere to come and bring a different kind of message and right now we don't have the so-called leaders <coughs> out here to be able to articulate these things and so as I was saying on the last piece how black women are, are now uh, uh, the head of the household black men are being rounded up in prison and you know a lot of them are, are on the DL and a small percentage of them you know are marrying other women yes black men are successful black men are and many are just playing video games and watching sports and hanging out at happy hours uh, hanging out at strip bars and strip clubs hang out at churches on a DL <laughs> so we have a challenge uh, in our community where lack of of black manhood and the lack of control and the lack of uh, identity as well as role models are, are taking place and so what I'm what I believe must happen is there must be a resurrection and respect for uh, black conscious black men in our community and this is why for those individuals when I had a a uh, disagreement you know with a, a sister with a with a female who who is a feminist who is a, a black feminist? Many of these black so-called scholars ran to her aid. Hmm? Ran to her aid because they are, you know, some of them, they want to have sex. They were motivated out of their own sexual, uh, out of controlness. Uh, if that's a word. <laughs> I got to laugh myself. Um, and so 
you know, you have scholars who will attempt to, or have attempted, to throw me under the bus because they didn't understand the dynamics. Hmm? But I, it's a new day. You know, these so-called leaders who are, some people use some other word, but uh, sex whipped. <laughs> Sexual, sexually whipped, uh, have continued, continued to uplift these uh, non-productive ideologies in our community, and so I'm saying that there must be a resurrection of, of conscious black manhood, uh, conscious, empowered, healthy. Uh, Scholastic, mature, discipline, holistic black men in our communities must be respected. Huh? Must be held to a higher levels of of admiration. I personally, I don't. I'm not interacting at this particular time with anyone, and it's mutual. I'm not coming around thinking somebody supposed to bow down, though trust in the intellectual comp competencies of some black men. Some black men are proven out here in society. But we have these communities out here with these elders, these so-called elders, that have failed us. And this is why I personally have to build from all the different community operations, organizations, and individuals that I've seen over the years, I have to build something new. I have to build a new uh, network, new operations, and a new uh, civilization and society. Built upon some solid principles, built upon family uh, empowerment and development, and we have to reconstitute what it means to be conscious and African. Because right now, these other communities and elders have failed to uh, lay some standards. And so I'm bringing a new message. I'm looking for those that would like to work towards empowerment. Hmm? Bringing a new reality. And everything that you've desired shall come true. So I have the plan. It is the best plan for the empowerment of our communities. This is Haki Shikurami. This is uh, part two of black males, female relationship. Uh, I appreciate you listening in. Till next time. Peace.